What's good, what's good, what's good, man? It's the one and only OG Hollywood, a.k.a. Mr. 110, a.k.a. speaking on number public information. I can do that. You can do that. Why? Because it's public information, right? But before I get into this, man, let me say R.I.P. Big Juke. May he rest in peace, man. He reached his final resting place today, man. And, uh, don't know how true it is, not going to even try to speak to it. But once again, it has to be some type of truth to it, right? But before I get into that, let me say this, man. We have to do better. We have to do better, man. It's too many it is going in the ground, man. It's too much of this going in the ground. When y'all gonna figure it out, man, that it's public genocide, man. They give you the money. They give you this much power. Only enough power for you to kill a man that looks just like you. Let me say it again. They give you the money. They give you the power. Only for you to kill a man that looks just like you. We have to do better, man. We have to do better. And I know we can do better. You know why? Because everything in this fucking world, we as black people, we created it. We created it. But what we don't know how to do is stop hustling backwards. Get the money and kill the man that's just like you. Get the money and pay for the man that looks just like you to die. Stop hustling backwards, man. That's as plain as I can put it, man. And while I'm speaking on hustling backwards, listen to this, man. You remember the security I was telling you about? That big juke supposed to have while he was here? Where he showed up today at his funeral. It showed up today at his funeral. The day that he was laid down to rest. That's hustling backwards. The same security and the police force that showed up today should have been everyday lifestyle. Everyday lifestyle. Do it cost money? Yeah. But what is the money for? The high side? To cap? The cap on the next man that look like you? That's still struggling? That's what the money for? Wrong answer. The money is for to add value to other people's life. The more people you make rich, It keeps going, man. Every time we as black people take 10 steps forward, when a man die of color, we take 20 steps backwards. Simple as that, man. We have to do better. Had the whole Memphis police force out today. They were doing background checks. You had to have a fucking invitation to go to the funeral. What funeral you know that has to be invitation? In all my years on this earth, 
I've never seen a motherfucker get checked for a background check and have to have an invitation to go pay his respects. You know what happened? Because the shit just got real. When it's supposed to have been real. But that's that microphone, man. That microphone give you a sense of motherfucking false power. It gives you a sense of false power. To where you can't see the real shit in front of you. But that's what they give you the money for. So it can blind your ass and distract you from what's real. That's why you got the money. But you can change that. You can change that. But the only way the shit is gonna change is you got to let some motherfuckers live, man. You can't kill, kill, kill and destroy, man. You have to let somebody live, man. Fuck the words. Words ain't never hurt nobody, man. Words is words build character, man. Words build character. You gotta let somebody live, man. Because if not, it's a whole bunch of motherfucking funerals in line. And believe me, they waiting. They can't wait till the next motherfucking black man die. So they can say they tell their white counterparts, I told you so. You just don't know how much of a fucking feel they, they had with this. Why? Because God is a motherfucking millionaire. And the people that stay next door to him feel like he shouldn't be there anyway. I told you once before, do you think the opposite color want to see a black man with all this success and all this money? No. But they know one thing. It's not them that they have to worry about. It's the other black man with the motherfucking crab in the bucket mentality. That's who they have to worry about. Because they know one thing. As soon as that other black man climbing to the top of that motherfucking bucket, here come a dream killer, the same color he is. Bow. Gotcha. You have to do better. You got to do better, man. Look at all that fucking security you had today, man. That shit reminds me of of a movie. The man had Joe Biden secured today, but it's the same kind of security he's supposed to have to deter people from getting close to him. And sometimes violence is necessary. to keep a motherfucker from trying to impose threats and death on you and your family. That's what security for. Like I always say, man, people in life will show you what you want to be and what you don't want to be. You don't want to be a motherfucker with money and then maybe on the other side of the fence and still thinking like the people that ain't got money. That's what you don't want to be. You don't want to be a motherfucker with money and don't pay for top-notch security and allow a motherfucker to get up on you to blow your damn brains out. The money ain't for that. The money is to be spent. The money is to be spent in places that you know they're supposed to be spent in. This is just a lesson of learning, man. When you make it on the other side of the fence, get your ass out the way. 
Get your ass out the way. Build a team of professionals. That's the way you survive the streets. You don't survive the streets when you make it out and you go back to where the oppressed situation at. Yeah, you once used to be a homeboy, but you know how they looking at you now? As a great big motherfucking lick. In street terminology, you are a come up. That's what he looked like. You look like a big old motherfucking lick when you turn around and go back to the hood. We got to do better, man. But also, you have to understand one thing. Everybody that say they street ain't street. Just because you hung around motherfuckers in the streets that don't make you street. But it is a true saying of money. Money and a fool will soon depart. And nobody ever said how you was going to depart. But when you do depart, the only motherfucker that suffer is the one that was close to you. I'm talking about family. That's who's hurting the most now. That big joke gone. Serious a lot of motherfuckers that didn't like him. So what? We not gonna be liked and loved by everybody, but as long as we're aware and respected by the people in the family, that's all should matter. But I understand this, man, that until you've been through motherfucking hell, you ain't gonna never know what heaven feel like. And right now it's hell on earth. I got this fire behind me for a reason, man. I'm letting the motherfucker know that the world is on fire. It ain't no loyalty in the streets. None whatsoever. As we speak this very moment on this live, it's a motherfucker getting played on. Or it's a person that's getting set up. People die every day. Every day. And mark my word. The people that's on the other side of the fence, they saying, who next? Which one of them rappers next? Do your homework and your history. But we can't blame this on the white man. Because well, in the world today, everything is black. Everything is black. Ain't no such thing as white bars no more. Everything is black. Rap music, the culture, all that shit is accepted now. So we ain't got no excuses not to stay alive, man. This shit is ours, man. But we have to do better, though. And once again, sometimes violence is necessary. But in a lot of cases, man, that shit is unnecessary violence, man. But if you campaign, you soon will get elected, man. I got time today, man. But remember this, man. The tongue is like a double-headed sword. That motherfucker cuts deep. And when it cut, history repeats itself. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. In other words, it's time to bury another black man. I'm gonna leave out of here, man. But this is my spiel. I'm speaking on public information, man. I'm speaking on public information, man. And we all can do that. At any time and point, you can speak on public information, man. But it is what it is. But don't wait too late. Don't do the shit you supposed to do first and you do it last. Like God did today. 
He did a background check on everybody that entered the building. He sent out invitations. Why? Because it was a private burial. That's the shit you're supposed to do before it go down. That's how you stay alive. But once again, people in this world will teach you everything that you don't want to be. And they'll teach you everything that you don't want to do. You don't want to wait till the last minute to prepare for disaster and violence to strike. Pay for real security, man. This shit just a lesson to learn to a motherfucker to pay at home for security. The low budget security. Yeah, it costs money, but you got money. If you bring the shit down from your ear and spend it, you'll stay alive. Like I said, it's public information, man. And I'm just speaking on it, man. But this is the firehouse, man. And that's what we talk about, shit that's on fire. So until next time, man, stay up, stay vigilant, and don't be out there hustling backwards, man. Whatever you do, don't be hustling backwards, man. Salute. Thank <laughs> you.